Hi, I'm Dr. Trevor Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University to show you how to do a sit and reach test. It's a very common test for examining the flexibility of the hamstrings in the lower back. It's done all the time in exercise settings and exercise science classrooms. So in order to do the sit and reach, obviously the person needs to be warmed up, so make sure they do some sort of cardiorespiratory exercise for at least 5 to 15 minutes prior to attempting to do any sort of fitness testing that is a flexibility type test. All right, so once you've done that, have the person lay down on the, on the ground or on some sort of an exam table. Put the sit and reach box in front of them. They're going to put their feet into the box all the way against the um, wall inside the box. And they're going to then slowly stretch down until their feet, uh, or sorry, until their hands come in contact with the little piece of metal that moves on the top of the box. And then they stretch as far as they possibly can, pushing that piece of metal uh, down along the measuring uh, scale of that box. And when they can't go any further, they stop and just relax back into a seated position. All right, then you simply measure across that. So most sit and reach boxes have an inches as well as a centimeter scale and some have some other scales on them as well. And um, so pick whichever unit you want to use. Typically centimeters is what you're going to use in a, a science oriented classroom type setting or research setting where inches is probably more common, at least in the United States, doing uh, fitness testing in say like a, a fitness facility or gym. All right, so also take note of where the, the feet are on that scale so that can change depending on the box you're using. So uh, the box that we're using today, uh, the, the feet are actually at 23 centimeters. So anything less than 23 centimeters is the person not capable, being not capable of actually reaching to their toes. Beyond 23 centimeters is the person being able to reach past their toes. All right, so make sure that you know what kind of box you're using and that you judge people's scores accordingly. So if you're looking at any normative data, make sure that they use the same type of box as you or make sure that you convert your uh, numbers into uh, numbers that match the type of box that normative data was created for. All right, so very simple test. Make sure they reach down slowly, but don't let them bounce. Um, and other than that, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, just do this a handful of times. So I would suggest at least two to three trials um, per person. And then uh, just take the, the best or the average, depending on what you're looking for. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below this video. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.